Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenden from the Flourish Academy where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to eliminate distractions in the background, but first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. They make much of this free content possible through their support of the Flourish Academy community. In a previous video, we eliminated a blue trash can in the background of a photo using Lightroom. And in this video, we're going to do the same thing, but in Photoshop with a different method. The first thing I'm going to do is add a new blank layer. Now, the way I like to do that is to hold down Command Option Shift and the letter N. That's Control Alt Shift on the PC. Now, the reason I do that is because it will give me a new blank layer without any questions. Next, I'm going to press B on my keyboard in order to access my brush tool. Let's zoom in with the Command or Control Plus on the keyboard, Space Bar to access the pan tool just to reposition this. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and select a color that's near this trash can, so this green color. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of this brush just a little bit. And I'm actually just going to brush over this trash can. And you think, well, that doesn't really look good, does it? It just kind of smears it out. But watch what happens. Why don't we zoom out first with a Command or Control minus. What we're going to do is change the blending mode of this layer from normal to color. And when we do that, it perfectly disguises that trash can in the background because it didn't affect the pixels per se. It just impacted the color. If you're not familiar with blending modes, they're simply how pixels on one layer interact with the pixels below them. And that's a quick, easy tip for eliminating distractions in your background when it's related to color. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.